It's investigating a deadly shooting, and tonight they're still working to figure out who pulled the trigger. Jermaine Johnson was shot and killed around 1130 on Wednesday night. It happened in the 700 block of Markham Terrace. Joseph Payton spoke with Mr. Johnson's family and has more on where detectives are in this investigation. A sad scene at Markham Terrace on Wednesday night. As soon as Huntington police officers arrived, they found a man in dire need of help. They immediately noticed a, uh, um, a male victim of a gunshot wound who we later identified as Jermaine Johnson. The 41-year-old Johnson was taken by Cabell County EMS to a nearby hospital, but the injuries he suffered would prove to be fatal. His daughter shared these photos with us, saying that he was a father, grandfather, and overall family man. Detectives are now trying to figure out what happened and who was responsible. Our patrol officers are trying to ident identify any uh, potential witnesses and uh, you know that's hard with the shooting because nobody wants to stick around when something like that happens. Although no arrests have been made, investigators have identified two men who were present at the time of the shooting. Antonio Rowland and Rafael Solomon. The chief is asking the two to come forward for questioning or have the community point detectives in their direction. We know that they were there. Uh, we need to talk to them to find out more if anyone knows where they're at. We need the public to help us out. This is, uh, you know, these are not, these are not uh, the cases that we solve by ourselves. We have to partner with the neighborhoods. Joseph Payton, WSAZ News Channel 3, Huntington. If you have any information that you'd like to share with police, Chief Watkins says to call the HPD Criminal Investigations Bureau at 696-4420. They also have an anonymous tip line if you just want to call in, not leave any information other than the information you have, not leave your name, I should say. You can call 696-4444.